Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I wanted to give my two cents about what I think about the quest Rogue Nerf that is coming very soon to Journey of Angoro Hearthstone. So the idea behind this nerf is to take the minimum requirement of playing four minions of the same name and bumping it up to five minions of the same name in order to unlock the quest award, which naturally is going to make that kind of deck a lot slower and a lot less competitive simply because if it takes an extra turn, that could be the difference between the deck winning the game and not even being able to achieve its goal and falling flat on its face against aggro decks. So in theory, the card was nerfed partially to make the meta less restrictive against control decks, because if you're a control deck that plays very slowly, something like a control priest or a control paladin, and then you go up against quest row, uh, there's not a lot you can do to stop him from achieving his quest reward, and then you can easily get bursted down from even 20, 25, or in some cases 30 HP, simply because they can just hold on to whatever damaging combo charger pieces they need, and uh, kill you in one turn. So, if you are a control deck going up against quest rogue, it's incredibly frustrating, and it's one of the decks that that style of play is very good against, because you're trying to unlock a combo or achieve a specific goal that isn't minions on the field based, you achieve that goal and then you win the game. However, I think in practice what's going to happen is that control decks aren't really going to get that much more popular in the long run. Obviously some people are going to see, oh, quest rogue's gone, or quest rogue is less prominent in the meta. So they'll be trying to make decks like Control Priest or Control Paladin work. But at the same time, uh, players that are a bit more savvy are going to realize, hey, all those slow deck players are trying to play their greedy decks, and we still have uh, decks like Aggro Druid, Pirate Warrior, and Evolve Shaman, which are very good in the meta right now, arguably better than the Quest Road. So, a good player that wants to rank up is going to see the control players as food, and even though the control players don't have to deal with quest rogue, they're still going to get overrun by the really fast decks like aggro. So, although quest rogue taking a hit makes it easier for control decks to be justified in the meta, the fact that there might be more control decks justifies aggro decks to counter them. I think another deck that kind of classify as aggro would be burn mage or freeze mage decks where you don't have to interact with the board so those minion based control decks, priest and paladin namely, um, don't really do so well against them. So for mage players I think that they will have a really fun time in the next couple weeks after that nerf hits. Um, simply because the same problem with quest road a control priest or a control paladin can do very little against a deck that just needs to generate enough burn to take them from 30 to 0 and finish them off in one or two turns. So in the end, does the quest rogue accomplish its stated goals of allowing control players to have a little bit more freedom to play in the meta? Um, I don't think it would be the case in the long run because there are just so many decks that are really good at stomping over slow control decks. And I am a player who loves to play control, so every super greedy combo I like to come up with, it just doesn't work, because you have to be able to fight these aggro decks, and that's not going to change. Personally, I'm not even that sure I like the change, because Quest Rogue was a really cool deck concept, and it kind of blew me away when initially the whole Quest Rogue thing, it just seemed so unplayable as a card to actually play four minions in order to get that 5-5 five five for all your minions. And uh, before people started playing that deck, I completely missed the point that you could make really bad minions like a Stone Tusk core suddenly become some of the best cards you can play in the game, a one mana 5-5 five five charge that you can bounce back in the same deck for another 5 damage. It's insane. So the fact that that kind of deck is just something that they don't want to promote right now, I feel a little bit sad about that, but on the other hand, they are going to be announcing the next expansion very soon, I think like in five days, uh, July 6th or something like that. Uh, so in the next set, it, it just might be the case that if Quest World was so dominant, um, that some of the new cards that are coming out would just uh, make that kind of deck even better 
to where we would just dominate everything. But that's complete speculation. I mean, we don't really know what's going to be coming out. We will in a few days. But so far, it is a little hard to see exactly what the nerf is going to accomplish in practice, because I'm just not seeing it currently, given how good aggro decks are. So that's just my two cents on the whole quest road thing. I do hope that in practice, there'll be a little bit more control, or a little bit more reason to justify something like an Elise-style deck. But yeah, I'm not too optimistic, so that's going to be it for this video. I've been Dark Scouts, and thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future Hearthstone content.